This is part two of Wine Words, Terroir. Uh, we're gonna keep going, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, lots of different aspects, but thanks very much for watching. Thanks for choosing to carry on watching it if you are. If you're not, there is a part one video that hopefully there will be a link in the description box below. Um, and good luck with finding out more about Terroir. Most vineyards are on a slope, so the next natural thing is hilt or aspect, because um, aspects its relation to the sun, uh, and a slope, so hills. They are mainly made on hills because uh, good wine vines produce the best wine when water drains off uh, quickly, because you don't want too much water to produce the best grapes. Um, so the angle of the slope is important. Now you can have super steep slopes, sort of verging on vertical. Uh, they're not that common. Uh, on the whole, a nice gentle slope. Not like this because the water just stays where it is. You want a good slope. Um, plus the angle to the sun is key. So you'll find that within a vineyard there will be various elements that are better for vineyard production and not so good because of its aspect to the sun. Uh, I've done a slightly crude video for you uh, uh, using drawing, yeah, special drawing, um, <laughs> so to try to explain that. But uh, yeah, a slope is also really important as part of terroir. Okay, so this is uh, the slope or the aspect. Um, so let's say that way is north and here I've got some bricks underneath you'll see that there's a big slope here now I should be doing ISO bars around here like this and it's pretty steep and they're much closer together now the thing is that would be a perfect slope I just realized that's a perfect south facing slope um, now these, because it's going around a corner, suddenly they're not perfectly south facing. And these here are not. They are east facing, which means they, well sorry, they they would be west facing. So eventually they get the sun, which would be about here, shining on the light. Now, obviously that goes down there. They're all right, they're pretty good. Here is just a bunch of rubbish. So you can sort of see how important, because if you imagine the sun, let me find a nice orange color for sun. The sun comes all the way over here, tracks along and comes up here. So the sun, that bit there, is not gonna get the full sun uh, for all of the day. These south facing slopes will get the sun all day. And that's really important. However, even on some, a slope like this, if you've got a little hillock, which may be the way it's, if you've got a little hill here, that's a hill, um, you'll actually find that within that slope, there's a south facing slope on here. And that, because it's a bit higher, might get a much better sun. So there's a famous place in Burgundy where all the Grand Cru vineyards, at the very last moment of the day, where there's the last bit of sun, you can see them all because they're all highlighted by the sun itself. So um, that's why the slope's really important because where the sun will um, always be shining on the vineyard sites. That's why everyone wants a south facing garden because it always gets the most sun. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so water, uh, that's another part to tell why it's more about uh, water sources or sort of rain. Um, you can get uh, rain shadows from mountains. Alsace in France has a, the growing area is actually within one of the driest places in France because of the mountains. And they uh, basically, 
it rains go, as it goes up the mountain and on the other side it's quite dry. Um, you also have soil and that's a really important part of, of the terroir. It holds water because maybe this rain comes in different times of the year. It's not throughout the year, it'll be all in winter and none in summer. Uh, just to say, if you want to know about mount rain shadows and things, there are some really good videos out there, but I don't want to put one in quite yet, because uh, there are experts who do that sort of thing. So uh, different soil types can hold water differently. So clay really holds water, uh, and that's why you basically get clay, the modeling clay, it really binds it together. And other things like sand, gravel, straight through. Um, so a really nice example of this is in Jerez or Jerez in Spain. Uh, that's where they make sherry. Love sherry. Uh, it holds water really well. Uh, it's quite a complicated mix. So I've written this down. Hold on. It is uh, chalk, clay, sand and limestone. All blend. It's sort of a combination of the two. It's called alboritha. I'm going to put it up on the screen, Alboritha. Now what it does is it effectively soaks up the winter rain and then in the summer where it really rarely rains, it provides water for the vines throughout those really hot summer months. Um, I'm gonna put a picture up for you. Um, as you can see, really interesting white. That's all the chalk mixing in some clay, very special stuff. Um, so yeah, it's soil, but it's more to do with the water, but you can tie it in with soil. This You can sort of see they're all interlinked, but it's all coming, trying to describe it in one word. Uh, but water is another element of terroir. So terroir is such a, such a simple way of saying everything that's been in all the video so far. Um, you can imagine what it's like trying to describe each thing. Also to say this list is not exhaustive in any way. Uh, we are toe in the water, tip of the iceberg, any other relevant <laughs> metaphors. Uh, <laughs> it is such a big word. But I wanted to try to give you a simplified understanding of it. Um, you're probably not winemakers. I don't know, maybe you are, um, but people who want to know a bit more about wine, and this word does crop up every now and again, terroir. Um, it's not magical, it's not spiritual, it's not the force that binds all beings together. It's a culmination of so many different variables that it's a lot to take in, and it can seem that way, it can seem magical. That there's magical places that magically happen it's it's not it's just incredibly big and complex and there are so many variables uh, for me the simplest way I try to always think about it is it's all natural elements that are outside of human control if you keep remembering that you should be all right well thank you very much for watching um, I hope it's all good fun uh, if you would, wouldn't would mind liking the video, if you want to share it or subscribe, we also have a Facebook page now uh, called Humble Wine. Look for me and I'll add you as a friend because I haven't worked out how to do the page yet. We'll have links and photos and all sorts of things on there. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, good luck and thank you very much. Bye.